Yo, so if you're not stupid, you probably know what clickbait is, right? And you probably know that it's really bad. Well, this channel I just found named The Johnson Fam is one of the worst clickbaiters on all of YouTube. So this is the Johnson fam. You have a girl right here, a boy right here, the dad, the mom, and then another girl. So this is a family. I guess their last name is Johnson or whatever. That's why they call themselves the Johnson fam. This is a family that posts YouTube videos. But when you look at the YouTube videos, you'll uh, start to realize that they suck. Five days ago, they posted a video that says reasons why our toddler is getting shots. And look at the thumbnail. You have a doctor, like showing a shot and then you have the mom and the son and the son's like so sad apparently this video is going to be them talking about why their toddler has to get shots oh no i did shots if you end up clicking on this video you realize that the little kid just had to get his normal like checkup shots it was nothing crazy it was nothing like weird he just had to get shots like every other kid in the thumbnail though they show this doctor with like a big old needle and like the kid and the mom are like oh no they make it seem so much worse than it actually is Take a look at this video right here. It says, I can't believe we went on this roller coaster ride. And in the thumbnail, you can see a roller coaster ride. Like that is so, f like I'm not even gonna fabricate it. That is so fake. There is no such roller coaster that literally you go off the track and then you go back on. This is so fake. I ended up clicking on this video to see if they actually went on that crazy roller coaster that literally disconnects from the whole damn thing. I wanted to see if they actually went on that. So I clicked on the video, I watched about four minutes, and I realized that the scariest roller coaster they did go on was this. Are you serious? The whole video, they don't go on a crazy roller coaster. They are going on kids' rides. Like, are you serious, bro? Why does your thumbnail show this, but then your video is this? This is the laziest, stupidest, most baby ride I've ever seen. I could be a one-year-old and this would not be fun. That looks so stupid. Somebody in the comment section said, whoa, so brave. The, apparently they're calling them brave. What's brave about going on this stupid ass ride? Please tell me. This video is sponsored by Asphalt Legends Unite. So I'm not even gonna lie to you, Asphalt is slowly becoming one of my favorite games to play right now. If you don't know what it is, it's a super fast-paced racing game where you can use Nitro, you can go on crazy jumps, you can go through crazy locations. It's a really cool game. One of my favorite things about this game, though, is the fact that you can unlock over 250 different hyper cars, and they all have their own unique stats. I honestly love playing multiplayer against other people and just whooping them because I'm actually pretty good at the game. And I also love beating up on my friends. All of my friends suck at the game. I love whooping them. I think the coolest part about this game, though, is the fact that you can drive however you want. If for some reason you don't want to win the race and you just want to ride around and crash into stuff, you can do that. I don't know why you would, but you can do it. Asphalt Legends Unite is available for free on PS5, PS4, Xbox, PC, Android, iOS, Switch. It's available for free on any platform, bro. If you want to play a game that's actually fun, start playing Asphalt Legends Unite right now with the link in the description or in the pinned comment. Click the link and download the game. And here's the thing. You can also watch the Snapdragon Mobile open Asphalt Legends Unite Global Finals at Gamescom on Sunday the 25th by logging into Asphalt. Go ahead, download the game, and have some fun. This channel is a lot worse than you might think because look at this. You remember that video I showed you about their toddler getting shots or whatever? They didn't just make that video. They made another video just like that. It says, rush to get shots on my face. In the thumbnail, you have the mom and the daughter like looking so scared and then the dad is getting some shots on his face. Oh my God, he had to get rushed to the hospital, get shots on his face. Oh my God, I have to see this. I ended up clicking on this video to see if he actually had to get sh like rushed to the hospital like the thumbnail and title says. Turns out he didn't have to get rushed to the hospital. They were literally sitting there talking about why he had to get shots. Apparently he had something with his face or whatever. I don't really know. Why does your title say rush to get shots on my face? Oh my God, he was rushed to the hospital? No, he wasn't. If you go to the comment section of this video, you can find something pretty funny. So take a look at this. The top comment on this video says, Jeff, we feel for you. Make sure you take all the time you need. Your health comes first. Remember, you will come back strong with two sad emojis. This little kid was basically saying like, oh, we feel bad for you. Like you have to get these shots on your face. We feel bad for you. Take your time. Like, you know, don't worry about us. Focus on your health. That was a really nice comment from this little kid, right? Well, this channel hearted this comment. This channel actually clicked like the heart button on this comment. I want you to look at this. 
Somebody replied to this comment and said the same exact thing. They said, Jeff Daniel, we feel for you. Make sure you take all the time you need. Health comes first. Remember, you will come back strong. This little kid named Daniel Jefferson literally copied this person's comment because they wanted to get hearted. This comment right here was the only comment that this family actually hearted. So this little kid tried to repeat the comment because he thought he would get noticed. That is so stupid. Wait, I just noticed something. Uh, This Daniel Jefferson kid didn't just copy this comment. He copied this one right here. He copied this one right here. He copied this comment. He copied this one. He copied this one. He copied this one. Who the hell is this kid? For some reason, I really wanted to know who this Daniel Jefferson kid was. I wanted to see if he was a little kid. So I decided to go to his channel and this is what I found. What the hell? This is him? This is the guy who is just spamming some other people's comments? This is weird. 10 months ago, this channel uploaded a horrible clickbait video. This video says, we lost our three-year-old toddler at the water park. What happened? And in the thumbnail, you can see the dad going like, oh no, the mom's like, oh and then the daughter's like crying. She's crying because they, she, they lost her brother in a water park or whatever. Like, nope. I don't even have to click on this video to know that this is fake. But I ended up clicking on it anyway. And guess what I found? We are missing somebody. Has anybody seen Theo? Where's Theo? So apparently they lost their son named Theo. They're at this water park and they don't know where he went. Where is he? We lost him. Theo! Mommy! Yes! Oh, there he, is. he was literally right there. Take a look at this video, bro. If you thought this family was bad from those videos I just showed you, look at this. My family's house is on fire. Real emergency evacuation part one. Look at the thumbnail, bro. What the? Bro, your house did not catch on fire. I Like, I've seen so many of these clickbait videos. I know your house did not catch on fire. You're a liar. Liar, liar, house on fire, you bitch. I ended up watching this video to see if his house actually burned down. Turns out it didn't. They're in California or whatever, and California has been having like wildfires or whatever. So like fire just starts burning in like the middle of the woods. His house didn't burn down. At no point during this video do they show their house. Their house is never in frame for any of this. Why is the title, my family house is on fire? What? Everybody in the comment section is saying, I'm so sorry to hear this. I hope you get to there soon. Like, oh, all these disasters. Oh, like, I hope you're all good and not harmed. I'm praying for you. I hope you're all okay. Somebody else said, so sorry for you guys. Lots of love and prayers for your family. Are you guys stupid? His house never burned down. Not at, at no point in this video did they even show his house. Remember how that video said part one in the title? Uh, well, they made a part two right after and it says, after our house caught on fire, what's left and what's lost? Look at the thumbnail. You have all of them like looking so sad, like no, like even the little girl's just like, no. And then like in the background, it's just a fire, like a burnt down ass house. In this whole video, they end up showing like some land or whatever that got burnt. This is like some land next to their house that caught on fire. Apparently it burnt a bunch of the grass or whatever. But guess what? If you skip about three minutes or about six minutes into the, uh, the video, they're inside of their house. I thought your house got burned down. Why are you inside of a nice ass house? I thought it burned down. There's literally no fire damage. This is a nice ass house. Updated ass house. Everything looks so beautiful. I thought your house burned down. That's what you just said. If you go to the comment section of this stupid ass fake ass video, you can see people who are just so like not connected with reality. Somebody said, I'm so sorry, Jeff. So did a housey barn? What the hell? Gnome Shada Suko, uh, go back to English class. Somebody named Kim Wester said, that is crazy, A of fire. What? Somebody named Journey of Sakura said, I hope you all are okay. They're okay. What do you mean you hope they're okay? They are okay. Look at them. They're smiling. All of them are smiling. Why would they not be okay? Their house didn't burn down. Is it that hard to see? For some reason, these people love to use their kids for views because look at this. It says, our toddler is battling a terrible sickness. The thumbnail shows the toddler like crying and like a hospital bed and then with a mask on. Apparently this, like their toddler's battling a horrible sickness. 
If you end up watching the video though, you can see that she says this. The verdict is he has a sinus infection. So you're telling me this kid has a sinus infection? I've had a thousand sinus infections during my whole life. I've never once thought I was battling a terrible sickness. It's a bad sickness, but damn, did you really have to make a 12 minute video about it? In the video, the toddler seems completely fine. He's laying down, smiling, stuff like that. He's not battling a terrible sickness. Yeah, he might feel a little sick because he has sinus infection, but he's not battling a terrible sickness. What type of freaking parents are you? The video that they posted right after that one says she really lost her finger. And in the thumbnail, you can see everybody's like, oh my God. And apparently the mom lost one of her fingers. Her finger came off. No way, bruh. If you end up clicking on this video, you can see that uh, it never actually happened. What actually happens is she ends up getting a ring. He buys her a ring. How do you go from buying a ring in the video to saying that you lost a finger in the thumbnail and type? What? That doesn't make sense. People in the comment section are saying, OMG, Natalie, I feel so bad for you. I hope you get better. Somebody else said, this is so sad. This stupid ass kid said, oh, I fell sad. Have a good day, guys. Like, are, are, you, are you not watching the videos? Are you just seeing the thumbnail, commenting, and leaving? I mean, that's what you probably should do. You should probably stop watching these guys because they're all clickbait. But it's not that hard to realize that this is fake. This is one of their most popular videos ever. 2.9 million views. It says, Olivia has an allergic reaction on her face because of bug bites. And look at the dad going like, oh my God, the daughter has like a big swollen eye and like a rash all over and there's a humongous mosquito. Apparently their daughter is going to have a crazy allergic reaction. You click on the video, it never happens. This is actually what she looks like. She has like a little bit of swelling, maybe right here, like maybe a little bit of a red mark. I don't really know what she looks like normally. Maybe that's what she looks like. Uh, she looks pretty normal. She doesn't look like she has an allergic reaction to bug bites. She doesn't have a big old bump like the thumbnail shows. This video literally says, two-year-old drifts off in a giant wave pool and he can't swim look at the thumbnail there's a little kid he, apparently he can't swim that's what the title said basically these people just want you to think that the two-year-old drifted off and drowned because he can't swim that's so stupid why are you using your kids for views like that this video says something is really wrong with theo's foot he can't walk normal no oh, blah 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 this one says theo had a bad accident oh my god like nope this video says how could this happen she fell hard and they have a freaking picture of an ambulance you had that like the audacity to put a picture of an ambulance in your thumbnail nothing like oh my god i cannot this is so cringy right here so they made a video that says peyton broke her finger at school ouch and look at the thumbnail she's like pointing to her broken finger or whatever oh and they're at urgent care they're at the hospital oh god the video they posted after that says peyton broken finger doctor update the news so apparently she has an update on her broken finger so they've made two videos about this broken finger right well look at this they made another video that says peyton's broken finger update bad news that's another video about this girl's broken finger they just love making videos about their kids suffering Anytime their kids get hurt, anytime their kids do something, they make a video about it and they twist it in such a negative way. What type of parents do that? Like, I know we're in an age of social media and everybody wants views and everyone wants clicks, but I would never do that. If I had kids, I would never post my kid going to the hospital. Even if it means I get a million views, that's not anybody else's business. Something happened to our baby while we were on vacation. Look at the thumbnail. The mom's like, oh my God. And then the baby's like, sleeping they're basically trying to say that the baby passed out or died that's why they're going like oh that never actually happened you won't believe how close this tiger was to our baby theo look at the thumbnail the tiger is staring right into the eyes of the baby about to snatch the baby up this is literally photoshop this is not real why are you doing this why are you making people think that your baby's gonna die just for views oh god bro every single clickbaiter does this one major house flood completely ruined the inside of our home look at the thumbnail the, the house is completely flooded like up to the knees oh my god if you end up clicking on the video there was never a flood so in this video they literally had to rip out some floor because they had some water damage look at this it's literally nothing to rip out all this you floor. can tell they ripped out the baseboard right over here which if it's literally see, a corner kind of, like of their house the they had to take out some of their floor in a corner of their house wow it completely ruined your home though that's what you said in the thumbnail or in the title it completely ruined your home no it didn't you just had to rip up a couple of baseboards come on man what the hell is th this video says we found something horrible in our pool 
It looks like a red, it looks like a, a, a bunny or something with like red stuff all over. Come on, bro. You're clickbaiting bunnies and, and stuff like that. Bro, this video says, today ended with a broken back. Mom was scared. The little kid is like, ah, ah. They're trying to say that their, their daughter broke her back. You're really doing that? These might be the worst parents on all of YouTube. I'm done with this channel. Get them out of here.